So the question is coordination of financing. Is it a, are they typically cash deals? Are there banks involved? What, right? Mm -hmm. That's what you're asking. Okay. Interesting. Well, basically, in every deal is a different story. You know, we have a, a big commercial project that we were recently facilitating. The valuation, just to give you a ballpark figure, after we did an actual full appraisal for this particular project was about $72 million. That was the value of the actual commercial asset. It was income producing. So based on those figures and based on the purchase, the bank, which is an actual an institutional group that was going to finance the transaction over 25 years, was actually willing to put in $52 million. We had negotiated the project down. So in that scenario, we really only needed to put together $5 million of equity into the project. So that was a pretty straightforward deal. The reason why is because the financed amount was contingent upon the income stream of that project and because it was such a strong project with a very big income stream, it was easily justified. So the lenders pretty much had a cakewalk with that transaction. Now, going into some land deals generally is a lot more difficult to get financing. What we have done is we've actually done two things. The way that we form some of our capital raises to capitalize on these types of double lots or you know development projects that are just land uh, is two ways. Sometimes what we'll do is we'll take some of our income producing projects and we'll bring some of our private investors and we have a ratio that we have in our business model for our debt service coverage ratio that we never go past. But we can take some of our projects that have a lot of equity that are income producing we can raise capital with what we call a fixed yield. In other words, we take the income stream for that income producing property to pay the debt service for our passive investor, and then we take that capital and we acquire projects such as the land deal. So that's one option and one of the ways that we actually are able to facilitate the capital raise. But it comes with a lot of scrutiny in our due diligence because we need to make sure that the property that we're using as collateral is not over leveraged and produces enough income to cover that debt service. The moment you start playing with over leveraging your assets, your house of cards can fall with just one mistake. And that is something that we look at extremely carefully before we make that decision. We want to leverage some of our assets to increase our empire of acquisitions. However, we're not going to bet the farm for one deal that we think is going to be great. That is critical for our investment. Now the other element is, a lot of times, we'll get a really beautiful project that might be land or it might even be a project that's just completely underperforming because it's been mismanaged and it's a higher risk because again it doesn't have a stabilized income stream that's sufficient enough to cover the capital that's going to be invested in that situation we would generally raise the majority of the capital with private equity and that's with a client that we've worked with that we've had already a, a good track record with we put together our due diligence package we sit down with them we show them the project depending on how large of a project and how much capital, if we're talking two, three, four, five, six million dollars of equity money, we'll fly them down with us once we've got a, a full package together, we'll show them the opportunities, and then this investor will sign up as an equity partner participating in that venture. That's one of the ways that we would raise money in what we call uh, an equity partnership or a joint venture specifically geared towards an equity piece, which means that they're not going to get a fixed yield, there is no debt, there's only upside and that's one of the ways that we're able to raise capital. Um, then of course we have the private equity uh, organization entity that we put together which basically becomes a blind pool. We show the investors our parameters of our investment strategies, we show them the type of quality work that we've already accomplished and we show them the type of quality work we're looking to acquire and as the investors buy shares in those particular equity funds then those funds are deployed to acquire assets from various classes that we've shown you even now.